In section 9.2, we saw an example of a couple that wanted to save money for their newborn's college education. And we worked out that if they put $25,000 in the bank now, then they could expect to have $60,000 available in 18 years for that child's college. The only problem with this plan is that most young couples don't have $25,000 just sitting around waiting to be deposited. Instead, what people usually do when they want to save money is they make small payments on a regular basis into a bank account. And this arrangement is known as an annuity. There are several kinds of annuities, but the only one that we will look at is a so-called ordinary annuity where payments are made at the end of each period into an account which pays compound interest. Okay, so for example, suppose that we agree to deposit $100 into an account at the end of each month and the account pays 12% annual interest compounded monthly. Find the value of this ordinary annuity after six months. Okay, now of course I will uh, immediately concede that 12% is an unrealistic rate of interest these days. Nevertheless, it will use this because it makes the calculations simple. Uh, remember that the annual interest rate must be divided by 12 in order to get the interest rate per month, which in this case would be just 1%. Okay, and in order to calculate the value of this annuity after uh, 12 months, then all we really need to do is to uh, work it out month by month, uh, calculating the interest and keeping track of the money that is deposited. Okay, so this table gives us the results after six months. Okay, so after one month, we've earned no interest because we had no money deposited. We dep make our first deposit $100, and so the balance is $100. And, uh, after one month, uh, after two months, I mean, then we have some interest earned. We've earned 1% of $100, which is $1. Make a new deposit, $100, and then the new balance is $201. And we continue on in this way, calculating the interest each month, depositing another $100, and then at the end of six months we find that the value of the account is six hundred fifteen dollars and twenty cents. Now what I want to do is show you a different way to come up with the same result. Another way that we could calculate this number is to work out the compound amount for each deposit. Okay, so the first month's hundred dollars we'll earn five months compound interest Okay, we have a formula for that. The amount, the initial deposit, $100 times 1 plus i raised to the n. Okay, in this case, i is 1%, so we have 1.01. .01, and the 5 means that we have 5 months that we're compounding that interest. So you do that calculation, you get $105.10. And the formula for the second month's deposit looks very similar, only instead of a 5, we only have a 4 because that money is only on deposit 4 months. And then 3, 2, 1. And then the last month earns no interest at all because we deposited it at the end of the 6 months. And when we add all these figures up, uh, not a big surprise, we get the same answer that we did before, working it out month to month.